this tutorial you will need your selected yarn. I'm using Paintbox Simply DK. You will need a crochet hook uh, corresponding with your yarn. I'm using a 4mm today. You will need a pair of scissors and a darning needle and this will be to finish off your ends. As always if you like my tutorials don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. And once you've subscribed hit that bell button and you'll be notified of when my new videos go live. So to begin you want to create your slip knot and you can do this in whichever method you prefer. And we're going to go ahead and create our foundation chain. So for the foundation chain we are just going to do um, an even number of stitches. So grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. You want to create your foundation chain to the size of the project that you want to work. I'm just going to do a sample piece. So go ahead and pause the video and meet me back once you have your desired length. So I have just finished my chain. I did a total of 20 just for my sample piece. Now what we're going to do is do our row one and this is just going to be really, really easy. We're going to ignore this chain on the hook just here and work into the second um, chain. So ignore this first one and this is our second. We're going to do a double crochet. So in the US this is known as single crochet. You're going to insert your hook into this chain, grab the yarn and pull it through. You'll have two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through both of those loops on the hook. Insert the hook into the next chain, grab the yarn and pull up a loop. You'll have two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through those two loops. So you're simply going to go across the whole of the chain, doing your double crochet into each of these stitches. Go ahead and pause the video, work your chain and meet me back in just a moment. So I have just finished my row one and now we're ready to move on to row two. So for row two, you're going to chain three and turn your work. And what we're going to do is we're going to work into the second double crochet. So we're ignoring this first one, which is where the chain three goes into. And we're going to do a treble crochet into this second double crochet here. So remember I'm talking in UK terms. In the US, this is known as double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that second stitch along, grab the yarn and pull it through. You'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. From here, this is where we're actually going to create the bead itself. So what you're going to do is yarn over and then you're going to put your hook around the post of the treble. So you're going to come back on yourself and go around. You're going to grab the yarn and pull it through and then you'll have three loops on the hook. I'm going to do that two more times. So yarn over, around the post, grab the yarn and pull it through. Yarn over, around the post, grab the yarn and pull it through. You will then have seven loops on the hook. And what we want to do here is just pull through the first six loops. So you're going to grab your yarn, you're going to turn your hook so that it's facing downwards and gently pull through six of those loops. So you might just have to wiggle it around a little bit. Sometimes you might have to stop and start and that's completely normal. But just take your time with it and pull through those first six loops. So I'm almost through here. I now have two loops on my hook and I'm going to grab my yarn and pull through both of those loops. So there you have your first bead. Now what you're going to do is you're going to skip this next double crochet and do a treble crochet into the next one. So go ahead, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. We're going to do that bead stitch again. So it's yarn over, around the post, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, around, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, around, yarn over, pull through. You'll have seven loops on your hook. Grab the yarn and pull through your first six loops. You'll have two loops on the hook. 
grab the yarn and pull through both of those loops. You're going to skip the next double and do a treble crochet into the next one. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then we'll do our bead stitch. Yarn over, around the post, yarn over, pull through, that's one, two, and three. Grab the yarn and pull through your first six loops. And then you'll be left with two loops on the hook. Grab the yarn, pull through both of those loops, and then we're ready to repeat. So what you want to do is go ahead and pause the video, work your way all the way along until you get to your last bead, and then meet me back once you are ready. So I've just come to the end of my row two. I just wanted to show you this because um, you might notice this with your stitches. But basically once, once you've finished, some of these might rest a little bit higher. And this is just simply fixed. It's just the way you've been holding your work. Um, and you can just pull those stitches down and it just kind of fits them into place a little bit more. So if you see that, then don't worry too much. Once you've finished, you can just kind of run your hand down um, and just help those stitches sit a little bit better. So now what we're going to do is finish off this row. What I've done is my last bead stitch and you'll notice that you have one stitch remaining. And what you're going to do is do a treble crochet into this last stitch. Remember that's a UK term, treble in the US is known as double. So yarn over, insert your hook into that very last stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now what we're going to do is do row three, and for this we're going to chain one and turn. You're going to skip this first treble here, and then you're going to go into the top of this bead stitch. So insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two for a double crochet. You'll then find the next stitch and do a double crochet. And then again, the next stitch and do a double crochet. So you're going to do that all the way along until you get to the end of your row. So go ahead, pause the video, meet me once you get to your last bead and I'll meet you back in just a moment. Okay, so here I am, I have just done my double crochet into this last bead stitch. Now what I'm going to do is find the third chain from the bottom of this original chain three and go ahead and do my last double crochet in there. It's really important that you do go into the chain because if you just went into the chain space then your corners or your edges would be a little bit unstable. So it just kind of anchors down that stitch. So now what you're going to do is simply repeat row two and three over and over again. So you would chain three to get up to your height, turn your work, skip this first double crochet and do a treble crochet into the next stitch. So yarn over, insert and do your treble. And then you'll go ahead and do your bead stitch around that treble. So yarn over, go behind, for one, two, and three. Grab the yarn, pull through the first six stitches, and grab the yarn and pull through those last two. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and build a few more rows so that you can start to see what it looks like. Okay, so I have just added a few more rows. I finished on a double crochet row because it just finishes off the end nicely. I'm going to chain one and snip off my yarn and then pull that out. And there you have it. So I just think this creates a really beautiful um, texture. I think it looks really interesting as well. It kind of just gives you a little bit more definition, stitch definition to a project. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. We are so close to hitting half a million subscribers, which is crazy. So yeah, thank you for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.